We think of branding usually in the marketing sense. What do we want people to think about us? What do we want to look like to the world? How do we want to come across? What colors do we use? And what ideas do those colors convey? What about naming? How do you come up with a killer name? All these are the predictable questions that we would expect to ask in the branding process. But missing in these questions is the idea of leadership. How do we make a genuine brand that leads rather than one that is desperate or inauthentic or panders to political or cultural sensibilities that they may not believe in? How do you become a brand that leads even on a Tuesday so that when the big tests come, your values have had time to become part of your culture? First, faithfulness in the small things. There's this biblical idea of faithfulness in the small things. The idea is that if you cheat, lie, and steal when you have a little, you're likely to be even worse if you have more. You are who you are, whether you have a lot of money or a little. If you're small and you have a small job and you're faithful in it, even though it lacks praise and fanfare, you might actually find that you're faithful when given more responsibility. Your company can be the same way, faithful in the small things when nobody sees. The next step, those small things become your groundwork. This concept provides another benefit as well. It protects you from being top heavy. Mountains are bigger at the bottom. A triangle has more strength at its base to support things that are higher up. The skyscraper needs more support at the bottom than at the top. When you are faithful in the small things and you're willing to make the small, thankless efforts that nobody ever sees, you are building the ability to be effective. Nobody sees genius in delivering a project on time and on budget and with the quality expected. Everybody wants to be the hero who makes it brilliant, but the brilliance builds upon the foundation. Next, brand isn't just message, it's also action. Branding is the communication and outward representation of inward values. But those values manifest themselves in things that you actually do. So if you claim to have certain values, but never do the things that those values would encourage, nobody believes that you have those values. Values are the philosophical center of any brand. Finally, people can follow actions with explanation. People can sometimes follow actions, but if you explain those actions, it's much easier. They can then understand why you acted that way. If a brand is both actions and the values that justify the actions, then it's important to do good works and then talk about why you do them. This shows that you mean it by your actions, and then it explains your actions so that everybody is that you can all understand why. Once they understand, they can start to see a pattern. This allows people to follow along with you it helps people to know whether or not you're a good fit for them, and it shows your philosophy of service. Check out resoundcreative.com for more practical tips like these, or to reach out and say hi. Cheers.